I'm super excited about today's project. As a matter of fact, I think it may have been one of mine and Heath's favorite projects in quite some time. So let me tell you what we will be working on. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, a, a gentleman that I know really well approached me and said, hey, I have a pair of baseball cleats that belong to my granddad who played baseball in college back in the 1930s. Yes, that is almost, almost 100 years ago. And to get something that old and just to be able to see them and just the, the craftsmanship and, and just the age of them, it, it was really, really cool. Now what he is wanting is just a thorough cleaning and conditioning of these shoes. Now this pair of cleats was passed down to him and what he's wanting to do is put them into a glass case just to kind of showcase them and have them in his house. But before he does that, they really, really need to be cleaned, conditioned, just really gone over with a fine tooth comb. And that's what we plan on doing in today's project. So. Let's get out to the shop and let's tackle this pair of 1930s baseball cleats. All right, I'm gonna gently take these laces out. I don't think these were original based upon everything I saw online from old photos. It looked like they came with black laces, but hey, these were his granddad's laces. I know they're probably special to the shoe, so we are gonna be very careful to hang on to these and get these as cleaned up as possible. Now this job is about to get really dirty, uh, so I'm gonna put some gloves on and then I'm gonna get to cleaning these laces. All right, so I have some water here. I'm just gonna drop them in there. Let those sit for a while because they're pretty dirty. And then we'll work on those a bit later. All right, now these shoes are really dirty. They're just, they're old. Uh, the leather is extremely dry. And if they're not cleaned off and conditioned, you can see it's just going to start, you know, dry rotting over the years. So we want to get these really clean. I'm going to use some saddle soap on these to get these as clean as possible. And then we'll go and we'll dye those after that. Now one thing I did already do that I did not show you, instead of brushing these off, I actually took our air hose and blew these off really well to get a lot of that surface dust off the shoe. So this is the canvas liner of the shoe. And as I was had my hand inside the shoe, this has just come unglued over the years. But this is what's really cool. These are almost 90 years old. And what's cool is it has the Wilson logo all on the inside of the liner. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw these into my tub of water and get these clean as well. All right, while I'm letting the leather dry on those shoes, Let's work on this canvas a little bit. See if we can get this a little cleaner. Have to be real careful with it though because I don't want it to fray or tear. All right, this water's a little dingy. It's time for some brush water. So these uppers I had to wash a few times. I wanted to make sure they are nice and clean. So I think this leather is just about as clean as we're going to get. Now it is time for the lower portion. I don't know, maybe it's just me, because I'm like a history nerd, but am I the only one geeking out right now over the fact that this dirt 
could have been on these for about 90 years. Makes you think. So a lot of you folks that watch our channel actually enjoy talking about the quality of shoes. So I'm just gonna take one quick second to talk about the actual extreme quality that was put into these 1930s cleats. Now, as I mentioned before, one thing that's just stuck out to me is these are from Wilson, which is really cool that it still has the logo on the tongue of the shoe from all of this time, it's still there. And then it has some stamping done up here on the tongue as well. Not sure what that means, but just wanted to point that out. Now, one of the other things about these shoes, again, they're almost 100 years old. And back then, most shoes were made of leather. So this entire thing, it's not pleather, it's not faux leather like a lot of shoes nowadays or a lot of cleats nowadays. This is real leather. Now, the heel counter and the inside of this cleat is leather. The insole is leather. Now, the bottoms, the soles, are rubber. And they do that probably for waterproofing purposes. If, you're get, if these are getting wet, a lot of moisture, it's going to absorb through the leather. So they did put a rubber sole on there. And this is the one cool thing. If you look really closely, you can see that these are actually stitched on the outside all the way around 360 degrees, just like you would find on a good quality dress shoe nowadays or in the past. But notice on the inside, they are stitched. And if you look up underneath this stuff, it's kind of dry rotted over the years. You, the stitch goes around there as well, which means these are Blake Rapid. And the reason for the Blake Rapid is because it allows for a much lower profile and much more flexibility. The shoes are completely cleaned up now and the black has faded a lot after we got these cleaned up. So we're going to re-dye these and then we'll get to we'll condition them, put a little polish, and then these boots or these cleats should just about be done. All right, last thing I'm gonna do is just take this soft cotton rag and just lightly buff off the shoe. And that'll take off any remaining excess polish that'll also bring out a nice shine on top of these cleats. Okay, I'm going to put these liners back into the shoe. I'm going to use just a little rubber cement here. Now, again, these were just a thin piece of 
fabric with the Wilson logos on it. So I want to be really careful when putting these back in. So it's only fitting that these have new laces in them. And since these were made in the USA, it's only right that we go with made in the USA laces. So let's get these put in and then these shoes are done. Okay, y'all, we are done with this pair of 1930s Wilson baseball cleats. But hey, before I show you what they look like, just a couple of quick reminders as always. Guys, if you haven't checked us out, please do so at potterandsons.com and southernpolish.com. Now, both of those are our businesses, and you all are the ones that help keep us in business. So, hey, we're running a sale right now on ladies' sandals. So if you're looking for sandals for your wife, for your girlfriend, for your mother, mother-in-law, whoever, go check us out at southernpolish.com. There is a tab for lady sandals. Go on there, running a big back-to-school sale. Also, if you're wanting to send in your shoes, boots, whatever, to have us redo them, check us out at potterandsons.com. Okay, now that we have that out of the way, let's talk about this pair of baseball cleats. Now, again, the gentleman that gave these to us wants to put them in a glass case for safekeeping and just to be able to look at, and they are a reminder of his granddad. Now, again, his granddad played baseball in college back in the 1930s, and I just love it. I love old shoes, old footwear, anything historical. I'm all about it. Now what we had to do is really a deep, deep cleaning. These shoes were extremely dry. The leather was extremely dry on them. It had a little bit of mildew, as you can see, like the green all on it. That all had to be cleaned up. We also wanted to get the surface dust off of the fabric liners on the inside. We wanted to clean up the shoelaces. Now, these probably were not the original shoelaces. Now, if I'm wrong, please correct me down in the comments below. But I did a Google search because I wanted to try to get these back to historical accuracy as possible. And everything that I was pulling up for Wilson baseball cleats from that time era, they all had black laces. So we went ahead and just replaced them with the black laces. We did keep the white ones. So if he wants to change them out and put his granddad's old laces back in, he can do so. But again, we cleaned up the liners, cleaned up the upper leather. Then after that, we re-dyed them with some black dye. We conditioned them thoroughly. This leather was so dry, it almost felt crisp. So we put a lot of conditioner into this leather. Then we followed up some black shoe polish. Um, again, that has a lot of moisturizer in it too. So we put that in it, the black pigment in it, and it just really made the uppers much more soft, supple, and conditioned. Then uh, the bottom soles, uh, again, they were rubber, but we wanted to clean those up as much as possible. So we, we cleaned up a lot of the old dirt off of the spikes, took the little Dremel tool, and uh, really took, you know, spent a while cleaning off the metal on there, try to get that back to as good a shape as possible. And that was about it. Uh, again, this wasn't a resole. This was just a, hey, can you get this old, worn out and dried baseball cleat back to looking as soft, supple, and new as possible. And that's what we went after and tried to achieve with today's project. So that's what we tried to achieve with today's project. But I hope you all enjoyed it. And if so, like always guys, if you would give us a thumbs up down below, it really does help, believe it or not. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, click the subscription bell down below and uh, pass this along. So that's about it. Until next time, y'all have a good one.